What's going on there guys, my name is Matt or Chewy as most of you will know me as and today I am bringing you a Twitch follower requested video. Um, Pre-3D version 3.4 was released just the other day and there have been a lot of questions from my viewers on the stream asking number one whether it's worthy of updating, whether it's better than the previous versions and number two the big one how to actually install it and um, this is a big one there are articles on it there are numerous manuals and tutorials on how to update your P3D from one version to the next um, but a lot of people were asking me to make a little tutorial video on it just to show you visually on the screen what I did and uh, what I believe and what from what I've read is the best way to upgrade your P3D. So today we're using an example from P3D version 3.3.5 and we're going up to P3D version 3.4.9. Now just to let you guys know I've already made the update so I'm not actually going to be physically doing it but I'm going to show you the process on the screen and following it along I just won't be clicking activate basically and stuff like that. So the number one thing that you need to do is obviously get into your P3D account where you can download it. So if you're wondering where you need to go to download the updates, you need to go onto the prepared website, log into your account and you'll be able to go onto the downloads page and then find the latest version. You can download the full um, setup file here where you get all of the things in here or you can get the individual component downloads and you can just click on all of these. As a side note, all you need to do to install the client section is to download the client. If you want to install the content section, then you'll also need the cont one cab. And if you want to install the scenery section, then you're going to need scene one, two, three, four, five, and six cab as well. So just be aware of that. Now, for the example that we're showing here, going up to 3.4.9, as you can see here, technically, there isn't really that much changed with the content or the scenery sections. So if you really do want to just upgrade and kind of be lazy with this, to go from 3.3 or whatever up to 3.4.9, then all you really need to download is the client tab. And the client tab is the first thing that we will be dealing with. So it's a 125 megabyte download in this view. And then the first thing that you're going to want to do is to navigate to your control panel and then go on to programs and uh, programs and features and then look at the page where you can uninstall or change a program. What you'll see is if you find it on your list of everything, you can see all of my different softwares here. You'll be able to find uh, that there are different sections for prepared. So you've got the prepared 3D version 3 scenery, content and client, just as I showed you on the website here. The main one that you need to do to upgrade, as I said, is the client. So you'll find the academic client here. For example, I've just got the academic. It depends on what version of prepared you've got, whether you've got professional, etc, etc. And then if you scroll across here, you'll be able to see the version. Now, because I've already upgraded, you'll find that mine is 3.4.9184, blah, blah, blah. But before I upgraded or before you upgrade, you should see the previous version. So, for example, before I upgraded, mine was 3.3.5 and whatever the numbers were after that. So keep tabs on that. Now, the first thing you need to do is to right click on it and uninstall the client. Don't worry, this won't delete everything. It shouldn't anyway, it didn't for me. There's a lot of people getting scared that if you click uninstall on one of these little sections, you're gonna uninstall your whole SIM and destroy the whole thing, no. If you are just wanting to update the client, this is what you need to do. You need to uninstall it first. Again, I'm not going to do so because I've already done it. Now, in a folder here, you can see that I've actually created a download section for the latest release prepared version 3.4.9 so i've got the client in there i've got the content plus the cont one and then i've got the scenery plus all of the one two three four five six cabs there as well and once you've uninstalled this the only other thing that you need to do is now install the new one you'll just double click on that and it will go through the process very very simply again and you'll get the client installed once you've gone through the installation process through this little installer here, the installer package, all you'll then need to go is to go back into your programs and features again, go on to the uninstall or change a program feature, and once again, find the prepared version three academic client. What you should then see if you scroll across to the right on the version is the updated version. This is where you can see straight away that you've had a successful update on the package because it will read a different number version. 
The next thing to do is exactly the same thing. For me, for example, I went for content next and uninstalled the content here from the programs and features page. Oh, sorry, I don't know what that buzzing was. As soon as the uh, as soon as it the uninstalled process was complete, I simply went back onto here and clicked on the content windows installer package here and loaded that up. Just on a very quick side note, it is important to remember here to have all of these files in one folder otherwise there's a chance that the content package won't be able to find the cont1 cab which is essential for you to be able to upgrade and it's the same process with the scenery there so just pop all of the install files into a folder uh, so once i'd finished with the content again i just went back on to um, the uh, the programs and feature page found the content section scrolled across to the right and then had a look for 3.4.9 on the version list Again, I'll repeat it one more time just for those of you who haven't got it. Exactly the same with Scenery. Uninstalled it here. Once that process had finished, went back onto my install location. Uh, well, sorry, my download location. And then clicked the Scenery tab and went through all of that process, which will come up on the screen for you. On a side note here, once you get back into the simulator after updating the version, it will ask you for your license ID and the password as well. So it's definitely worth you going through your email account, finding the uh, the email where you got confirmation of your purchase from Lockheed Martin, and you can just enter in your license ID and your password there, and it will activate for you. Now, just again on another side note, for those of you upgrading to 3.4.9, there are certain bits of software that may need upgrading depending on the add-ons you have. For example, Hi-Fi, who are the creators of uh, good old Active Sky 16, they had a couple of days after the release of 3.4.9 to get a hot fix out there because Active Sky 16 wasn't working with the new upgrade. And this is part of the parcel with upgrading your prepared version. There are sometimes little add-ons and things which you will need to upgrade and update and wait for updates to come from the developers of those said add-ons just to make sure everything is together. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be providing too much support in the comment section about specific add-ons and if they're not working for you guys. All the process of this video was is to very quickly show you how you update your prepared from one version to the next. The other way that you can do it is just a full uninstall of the entire prepared um, system on your whole computer and then go onto the website and download the full one right from scratch again and do a full install of the whole simulator again. Uh, some people choose to do that simply because it kind of wipes any potential bugs out the way and they can just make sure that everything is fresh for a new install. I personally do not prefer to do that. The only other thing to do is to make sure that the SDK setup is complete as well. And this is something that I actually haven't done yet, as I spotted earlier on. So preparing this video has actually helped me out. So just go on to the last one as well and just make sure that you've got the SDK updated as well uh, for the latest version. So don't forget about that one. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment, like, and subscribe to the channel as well if this has helped you out. I really hope it has. I'm sorry if there's any parts that confuse me. Feel free to ask questions in the chat, though, and I'll try and answer the ones that I've got some sort of an idea about. Hopefully, somebody else will be able to help you out in the comments section as well. Once again, Chewy signing off. Have a great afternoon, guys. Happy landings.